Hello, Melissa. Hi, how are you? Okay, thank you. How are you doing? Green is good. You should be making a million dollars. Not quite, but I am getting there. Yeah, so what are you doing? I, at the moment, have Netflix running, SFX, and the target position. All right, let's talk about the ones that are that are in play. Okay, Netflix yes. hasn't gotten going yet. You leave it. SFIX, really, I don't know if this is going to work now. This isn't doing what I thought it would do today. This may lose. I don't know. Leave it on. The Qs look amazing. The SPY trades look amazing. Yes, I took profit. I took profit in the... Uh, in, I didn't take the SPY. I took the Qs. Oh, my God. You didn't do the SPY trade? You didn't do it. Melissa, I had several on anyway. Is that the reason I, you didn't do it, honestly? Or you didn't do it because you didn't think it was going to work? Um... Probably a little bit of both, really. Oh, my um, Lanta. But... You're, every single solitary trade that I have pulled in the market this year has worked. In fact, I sent an email out last week. I said every single person on the planet in this letter should do every trade I call in the market and close their eyes and take it. I mean, I, I said that in Mel the email. Melissa, Melissa, I had one out in the queues, which was running out this week. <sighs> that actually went back and made me money. I know. I Right? No, at the I same know. time, at the same time, I had that running. You call another trade, so I took that as well. So I had. Two I know, cool but that's what in. it is. Some days I call a couple. <laughs> that's what it is. And Google, I'm thinking you didn't do, even though that was amazing. Well, yeah, I mean, Google. I mean, you're talking over a thousand. I've just been putting mine. I know, but that was a hundred percent flip around in a day. I mean, that was. And look at where I called it. Although I don't think you would have done it because you would have said, "Oh, it's too boo boo doo. No, it's going to no, pull back." That's okay for someone with a larger account. Mm -hmm. Not for me at this moment. As you know, I mean, I've, I have put larger figures on the table. I know. So it, when, how are you going to get back to that? The only way you're going to get back to that is you're going to start to trade better. And you've got to get in a groove, which is what I said the other day. Anyways, you should have done the spy. You didn't. It's over. So then you did the cues and got out. And then and then you're, and then then you're what? And then you're waiting on target, which God only knows now. I mean, who the heck, this tomorrow this could turn around and go poop. I mean, I'm just like, look, so who knows? I mean, you never know. When these things want to um, run, even I if they've got a couple more days left, they'll run. Uh, I can't see your screen. Oh, sorry. I didn't have it up. I'm sorry. Oh, crap. So you don't think Target's going to pop through then? Hold on. Let me find this jiggy. I don't think what? You don't think Target's going to continue? Is that is that what you meant? I'm saying it didn't look like it was going to, but now it does, is what I'm yes. saying. That's what yes. I, is exactly what I'm saying. Like, I pretty much, I was like, okay, well, whatever happens. But now look, do you know what I'm saying? I'm saying it didn't look like it was going to three days ago, although it could have, and now it is, so I'm not surprised. But, you know, that's why you got to hold them. you got to give them that's, a chance to work. That, that's exactly my same thoughts. I am holding it. I don't particularly want to kill any. I mean, I, I made in Costco. That was okay. Oh, I forgot to ask you about that one. That was yes. fabulous. I made 59 percent at close. Did you get out of that yesterday? Because this looks like it's going to go to 240. I know. I mean, oh, I did. I took it yesterday out. Yes. Yeah, it it's went okay. over 230. I was over 230 with it. I know, and I even people asked me about it three days ago. But I, I, honestly, this will get to the dream target. 238, 239, 240. It's a 237 now. So it's, yeah. I mean, but what a what nice call. Do, I mean, you know, you could say that with everyone, couldn't you? You have to take your money and, and run with it. You could happy. say that with everyone. But again, once you get into a groove, which you're not, and I am, you read this, you read the market, you see what's happening. The problem is you don't have conviction in anything anymore. You couldn't see, you didn't see what I saw here in the market. You didn't see it. You, you know, I saw it. I saw it last, I saw it last Monday, but... It didn't go last Monday, but I saw this would happen. It took five days. That, that's life. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, I made seventy-five percent with that key yeah. trade from yesterday. So that was. But okay. if you had added, like I told you to do. Melissa, I did add. Oh, you did! Oh I no, I didn't know that you did it. No. Oh, I said in the email to you. That oh, I, I must I have missed that then. 
that particular evening when I spoke with you, uh-huh. I waited. I watched how it traded. It didn't fall back quite as much as I would imagine, but I did double my position. Fabulous. So then, how much did you? How much are you up in this? You're still in it. How much you're up in it? No, no, no. I'm not up in any queues. Um, oh, I you, took. You got out. That, what? Yeah, that particular trade. I, I, I'm. Yes, I mean I know it's not fantastic. I was I broke even, but that was a trade if you remember. I was down anyway. Okay, I'm confused. So. The train from before that you added to, you didn't make yes. any money in, then you didn't hold it today, or you would have. Wrong. That particular trade I doubled. Yes. I broke even, basically. Yeah. I was over thirty dollars, which is break even anyway. Yeah. Then I also took that Q's trade you called yesterday, and I made 75%. Yeah, that again. one's up. But I'm talking about the one from the previous one that I told you to add. You did. That's the one. I made, I was just, what is it, 12%. But you couldn't have held this up. through the gap up today, then. You got it out of it yesterday, I'm guessing. Well, the, the same problem. It's a question of how much risk you want to lay on the table. I, I had two Q's positions running, so... I mean, I was I was nearly at a thousand dollars in one position, so I thought I better take something off the table. Not just that, if it turned back for a day, then the time would have eroded on the price. I wouldn't have got out with the money that I'd laid on the table, so I decided to hold the one, the new trade. All right. Well, I, I don't. You know, you're just doing. I mean, you killed that one. Then with a break even, but if you had had it today, you really would have had some some nice profits here. Well, yes, but you have to look, don't you, at the, at the possibility of running out of time, price being You're eroded You're focused too much on losing. I don't know. I see that, say I this every time, no, and I don't I have a lot of time today. But it you, sounds like you, I do, but I don't. It like don't. sounds like it because it is. It sounds like it. Of course it sounds like it. The things that you are saying is exactly what your brain is thinking, and the things that your brain is thinking is exactly what you're creating. You, know, you may not realize it, but honest to God, I'm telling you, that's the truth. So you got to turn around what you're thinking. You shouldn't be, you shouldn't be preempting the possibility that it was at the forefront of your mind that you're going to lose. And that's why I suggested you start to do affirmations. Now, while there, while it is a reality that every trade that you take could lose or make money, that's true, which is why you don't risk your entire account in every single trade or whatever. But I'm just saying why you stop today trade. But I'm saying. It's at the forefront of your mind, Philip. Do you understand the difference? And until you're ready to accept that and acknowledge it, you're not going to turn it around. I do. I do accept that. And I do understand that. But at the end of the day, there was too much in one trade, too much exposure in one trade. I mean, I'm very tempted. I was very tempted earlier to buy another contract of Netflix, but I was taking that higher, a lot higher, than really what I should be doing, really. But I was tempted because that. Well, did you take story. Netflix or you didn't? I didn't. I just have one contract. Oh, then you then you have one contract. Well, that's fine. Yeah. Yes, but I mean, you are talking. The price of the contract cost me over six hundred and fifty dollars. I know. Then just leave it with this. So now you're thinking yeah. about taking more risk in this when you kill the other one. That what is a less risk? You see what I'm saying? It's like stay with the mm-hmm. ones that are working. Go with the ones that are working. Play them hard. Go with the winners. Go with them. Go with them. Go with them. Do you understand where I'm going with this? Like I, the ones oh, that are working, play I, them hard. I do. Yeah. I do absolutely. But it's like that Q's trade the other day. I wasn't in the room and you advised everyone to buy. It doesn't matter. Even cents. if you, even, Right. Well, that would have been matter. an ideal situation to obviously... Well, then rejoin the room. <laughs> I don't know what to right tell direction. you. Rejoin the room then. You can rejoin the room anytime. You don't, you don't no, want to focus on day trading. That's your choice. So. Yes, but that's just not, not possible at this moment. You need but to I'm start focusing on money. Huh? Sorry? Sorry? You need to start focusing on making money and winning and all these good trades that I'm calling and and seeing them through and seeing the possibility of them going. And you need to start getting in a groove about things working out, working in your favor. Melissa, that's why I took Costco out. I was up money. I watched it trade. I watched it play out. Mm -hmm. I was up to my minimum amount. So I took the profit. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. It's fine that you got out of And I did the same with the queues. Yeah, that's fine. It it is incredibly easy just to let everything run. I'm not saying let everything run. I'm not saying that at all. 
I did not mm-hmm. say that. I did not say that and don't misinterpret what I'm saying. But the problem mm-hmm. is that you used to read charts better than you are right now. And, and so, but you did miss one trade here. So again, you're always saying, well, I'm always following you. That hasn't been true. Mm-hmm. And again, it wasn't now because you didn't get the spy trade and you didn't play the cues out the way that I suggested either. But whatever, I'm just telling you, you know, you always but, say, oh, well, I always do it, you know. I am, I am very wary of taking too big a position in the markets overall. But I'm also very aware of making sure that I take money off the table, which is what you have been instilling in me. Yes, but you weren't up money in those Q's trades. You said you got up break even. I one you're up, to... the one you're in now. In fact, let's just quickly talk about what you're doing with this, because then I gotta go. What do you? I have a phone call at one thirty. What are you doing with this right now? What are you gonna do? I took the profit in that. Oh, you're out of just completely then. Yeah, I'm a short of three hundred. So you're not in anything right now that's running. You got out of yes, Costco, I'm, you got out of the queues, you didn't do the spy. I'm in, I'm in Netflix. Yeah, that hasn't gone yet. Right. Well, I'm st- Well, I'm in profit at the moment by just short of $100. I know, but it good. really hasn't gone yet what, the way yes. that I'm talking about. What, what I yes. saw here would happen here I, hasn't I can gone see, yet. I can see what you're looking at. I, it stands out. There's that. Oh, really? Uh, now you can see what I'm looking at. Oh, absolutely. Oh, yes. Yes, it does. And I can also, I mean, I have an S flix fix, but I mean, let's face it, that death knell of a bar the other day, we'll have to see how that Well, this, down. I did not want to see this happen here today, but it could be a once-off. But I mean, well, I mean, again, it's, it's one trade that doesn't work. It's one trade that doesn't work. I don't think this yes. was ideal here this morning to be gapping down, but it did. It could flip around. We'll have to see what happens here. Again, if this one loses and every other one works that I called in this week, then whatever. I know you couldn't do Google, it's fine, but you know, you're, you're, you're yes, doing I mean, better. I, you're I, up, you're up, you're up. You're booking money, yeah, it's, you're it's up. I'm, yeah. I'm not complaining, okay. it's fantastic. Okay. I would have liked to have taken Google, but obviously the price point was just too much. But yeah. I, I mean, SFIX and Target, and that's it. Target could go <laughs> when, it, when, it, when it was looking like a bummer there. So see through the Target and then, um, you're out of the market one, so that's that. But we'll just see what happens here. Yes. Okay. All right. Good job, Philip. You booked some money. That's positive. Lovely. Thank you, Melissa. Right, talk to you later. Bye. Yeah, bye. Bye.